All right, I'm just gonna try and go through um, as quick as I can. While we're stationary, this is an extra area where we shove our shoes. Um, down here, another hat and shoe basket. Don't mind my son, he's naked, so I'm not gonna film that bit. <laughs> oh, doesn't like wearing clothes. Um, one, two, and the third car seat over there where my naked baby is. <laughs> um, the table, dining table. Uh, under here, we've got underneath the seats, we've got some toys and books. Um, that's my homeschooling stuff. Um, DVDs, craft, all that kind of stuff goes up here. Um, I don't even remember what's in this one. Oh yeah, the paints. So they just pull out. Um, the fish tank, which obviously doesn't move, which is good. Um, microwave, which works, obviously. Um, aircon, which works. Fridge with the clasps on the side for when you're traveling. Really good size. Same with the, um, the freezer. Three drawers in the freezer. No, no, can't have anything in there. This is all our everyday stuff, like your paw paw, oh, whiskey, of course. Um, a few books that I read. Um, medicines up here on rubber mats so they don't move. Um, the same with these never move, that never moves, gas stove. Um, we just did a heap of cooking today. So, yep, yeah. and then this is your fan. You've also got extra lights here. So up here you've got these two lights. There's another one there. Working fan. Fans are really good when it's really hot or really cold. You can kind of blow the air into the front of the bus. Um, TV up there. So I'll go down the back. Oh, there's the, um, the curtains here. So over night time, we block out the back section of the bus and that allows us to watch TV and keep the lights on and do things out here, especially on my laptop um, without waking up the kids. Um, pantry pulls out. Oh, you're going to close them again, are you, Jack? <laughs> you're going to close them. Okay. Yeah. It's going to go around the naked baby again. And there's a top bunk with bits and pieces. Um, fan. This one has um, curtains on it because Jack sleeps in here when he has his naps. Which is really good to have those curtains and get that, that light out and that privacy. Uh, the bathroom, so. water, the storage under there. Now the toilets. Um, as you can see. And then you've got your water down here, so you fill that up using the screen tap on and off. Our washing basket up there come back around this way there's another curtain here so you can close off the bedroom and still go into the bathroom and stuff my eldest is on the eye they're on the ipads so i can do this quickly in peace these night lights are really good because they're really soft lighting this comes in and out to keep this from moving when you're traveling and there's like shelving in there so that's my sewing gear some books um, there's kids toys in that side in smaller tubs and um, the windows um, are great because you've got this so you can put this up for keeping mozzies and bugs out and that clips and then you just unclip it again if you don't want it so that comes up there to meet that and then You've got your outer perspex, so these just lock into place like that. And then you just push the button, move them like that, and click them out again. And I might only want it out that far. And yeah, so that's really good. Um, we've got shelves in here for 
the kids' clothes. <laughs> um, I'll turn this light on, a bit of extra lighting. And there's one shelf per child, and the tubs for my husband and I, the fan, um, extra charges. Over here, we've got another fan. I can't say we've really used those fans much. I think we just put them up because we had them. We thought we may as well use them. So, TV works. Don't know if I want it on though. There we go. Um, and up here is more of my bits and pieces. Clothes that the kids have outgrown that I'm about to send to the nephew. This is hanging stuff. And then beside this hanging stuff, underneath there I've got odd socks. My little girl's basket of hair stuff. Bits and pieces like that. And yeah, so I'm trying to think of anything else. There's lights absolutely everywhere. It's one really good thing. And you can choose if you want the really bright lighting or if you want the softer light in the night time, which is the, the red LEDs. Close that. Again, we've got this one here if you want to block anything out. Um, a couple of towel racks here. And... Um, Oh, the panels up here for the solar. So that's this is the old solar. Um, we've got the new solar system on our phone. This is the hot water when it's on gas. This is the diesel heater around here. So I don't actually want to turn that on. So I'm just going to press that again. It is really good. Um, yeah. And lights here. So, just a strip there, there's our Wi-Fi here, um, we've got this here to block out a bit of extra sunlight, because um, when my daughter sits there, it can come in quite um, quite bright on her, and yeah, that, that TV is the one we probably watch the most, and my Chinese laundry, which my son has pulled apart, and the other car seat, and He's driving the bus. <laughs> Cleaning.